Hey everyone, I'm Tracy Anders, a volunteer investigative genetic genealogist with the DNA Doe Project. The DNA Doe Project was founded in 2017 as a nonprofit with a simple humanitarian mission to provide names for Jane and John Doe's, otherwise known as unidentified human remains, using investigative genetic genealogy. Today we have an important topic how to download your DNA file from Ancestry and then upload it to GenMatch. At GenMatch, we can compare your DNA to that of our John and Jane Doe's through relative matching and analysis of shared DNA segments. You can create a GenMatch account and upload your DNA for free. By participating, you can help identify individuals that have passed without a name and return them to their families. Many of our cases are solved by distant relatives, just like you, who have taken the time to assist our efforts and return these does to their families. This is a powerful way to contribute to naming the unnamed and restoring respect for those left behind. There are three steps to the process that we are going to discuss today. First download your DNA from Ancestry. Next, you'll create an account at GEDmatch, and then you will upload that DNA file to the account at GEDmatch. We're going to break down each of those steps into details for you. And remember, you can pause this recording at any time and come back to it. To download from Ancestry, log into your account, and at the top right-hand corner, find the circle with your initials, or your profile photo if you've uploaded one. Click there and a drop down will appear. From the drop down on the right hand corner, select Account Settings. On the left hand side of the screen under Settings, select the DNA tab. Your DNA settings will appear. Select the DNA test results that you would like to download. Some people have only their results, while others manage the results of many. Next, you will be taken to a page with a variety of options for your test results. Scroll all the way down to the bottom of this page. Below the variety of options, you will find an option to delete or download. Navigate to the section at the bottom and select Download DNA Data. This is a good time to review the information that Ancestry provides regarding terms and conditions and privacy. If you are comfortable moving to the next steps, click the checkbox and select Continue. Ancestry will request a password or send a code to your email for you to enter. After the security step, Ancestry will send an email within 24 hours. This email will have a link. Select Download DNA Data, and you will be taken to an Ancestry page. At this Ancestry page, you will be able to download your DNA data. Be sure to note where your downloads go. My downloads go to my download folder. Next, you will need to create a GEDmatch account. The website can be found at gedmatch.com, that's G-E-D-M-A-T-C-H.com. Once there, you will navigate to the upper right-hand corner and select Join for free. You will need to supply an email address, name, and any alias you would like to be used for your DNA. Please be sure to read the GEDmatch terms and conditions and privacy policy. And if you are comfortable moving forward, click on the checkbox to accept and then continue. GEDmatch will send you an email to confirm your email address and you will be able to click from that email to set up your GEDmatch password. Then you will have access to your GEDmatch account. At the bar at the top of the page, navigate to the tab that says Upload DNA and select. The GEDmatch Raw DNA Upload Utility page will appear. Only five steps to go. First, you will choose a file to upload. Click Choose File and navigate to the spot on your computer that you downloaded your DNA from Ancestry. My downloads go to my download file. I choose the DNA compressed file or zipped file 
and then click Open to select that file. When the file is properly selected, it is visible on the screen, as you can see from the screenshot. The second step is to provide donor information. A name is required and there's also an option to use an alias and to enter male or female. The third step on this page is where you agree that the DNA that you are uploading is either yours or the DNA for someone that you are authorized to upload. Here I have selected it is my DNA. Select the appropriate option for your circumstances. In Section 4, GEDmatch provides privacy options. GEDmatch has two options that will provide an opportunity for your DNA to be compared to the DNA from unidentified human remains, opt-in and opt-out. The selection of either opt-in or opt-out works for our purposes of identifying John and Jane Doe's. Opt-in also provides your consent for law enforcement comparison of DNA to identify perpetrators of violent crimes. Read about these options and select the option that you are comfortable with. You've now reached the fifth and final section on the Raw DNA Upload Utility page, and you're almost done. Click on the checkbox that you're not a robot and click Upload. It might take a few seconds, and when your DNA upload is successfully completed, you will be provided with a kit number for your DNA results. Thank you for your consideration and willingness to assist in our efforts to name the unnamed and return them to their families. Every DNA upload helps to bridge the gap between the known and the unknown.